Hello everyone. Hope you guys are well. This is Laura coming to you today from the Last Days of Ministries and today we're going to be talking about a very sensitive subject. Some people right now who are involved in the Lot of Rain, see M um, here, see that? Lot of Rain, New Apostolic Reformation. The old name for it was Lot of Rain. Now it's called the New Apostolic Reformation. There's a lot of people, and I mean millions of people around the world, who are getting involved in this false teaching and a false gospel, and it's causing utmost carnage in the lives of people and their spirits. And unfortunately, I was a victim of it myself, and so I know the pain and the suffering that co comes with it. Now, I just want to say this from the very get-go. I'm not a professional <laughs> um, person that, you know, that basically deprograms a person. I'm not a professional. I'm sure there are professional people out there that do help who are Christian and would help. But I can speak from my own experience in the sense that when you're in the New Apostolic Reformation, they fill your mind with demons, um, uh, principalities and powers over certain parts of the, of the earth that are more stronger than the other principalities. There's a lot of uh, talking about demons, 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 an awful lot, okay? Um, another thing that they tend to teach a lot is false, as, as a false Jesus, okay? Like a Gnostic Jesus. Um, a Jesus that is born again or a Jesus that is just a man. Okay, that's very common in the New Apostolic Reformation. Um, the other thing that can be very upsetting is it really, you know, when you see all these manifestations of these people jerking and, and lashing around and all of this. I remember seeing this when I was 25 and I remember standing there and looking at it and it was like I was sort of in a glass box and I was looking out and I said to myself okay they're talking about Jesus this time at that moment in time it was 1993 there was no internet but I said to God what on earth is going here on here children flopping around on the floor and you'd literally see people almost levitating it was really weird and they were talking about Jesus and this was the New Apostolic Reformation, they called it, the the New Order of the Latter Reign. So I remember watching it and feeling really weird and and stupidly I went down to get prayer. How stupid could I have been? So I went down and I got prayer, got someone to lay hands on me and I felt sick for a whole week. And then I was reading the Word of God and it, it said, well actually when I was in the meeting I heard in my head, Timothy. Be not quick to lay on of hands. In doing so, you partake in their sin. I nearly dropped and I went home and I cried and I repented to God. And I said, Lord, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I should never have done that. But when I came out of the whole thing of the New Apostolic Reformation, before all the flipping and flopping around, because it was around since then, except that it was all about signs and wonders. But when I came out of it, my mindset was that there was a demon under every rock and that um basically that really that the demons they they said that jesus was more powerful but it seemed to me that there was more talking about demons and signs and wonders and 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 like scripture taken out of its context and ripped out of its context and it did leave my mind in a terrible state but what happened was I started going to this other church. I went to them and I said, look, I need prayer. Right? So they prayed for me because I, I like when you, you see, the thing is when you're totally fixated on the demon of this and, and you know, and the, they talk about the principalities, oh, maybe over China is more powerful or, you know, if you're con continually thinking about this, some of that stuff is going to manifest. Okay? Okay, so I just wanted to share that I know what it's like. And I know the concern. But I wanted to show you something um, for those of you
who are coming out of this movement and are confused and scared and, and everything, okay? I want you to know that Jesus is with you really strong. If you're a part of the remnant, he's holding you really tight right now. Okay, and he always does anyway, but let's look at this book that I got. Guys, this is an excellent ref uh, reference for people who have been in who have been spiritually abused. It's called the subtle power of spiritual abuse, and that's what you're coming out of. Remember, you're if you've been, um, you know, like brainwashed like that, you're coming out of spiritual abuse. Recognizing and escaping spiritual manipulation and false spiritual authority within the church. Now this is an I found this book just literally lifesaver for me. Um when I when I read it. it this was written in nineteen ninety one. It, it was nineteen ninety one. We had nothing this was a breakthrough book. And I would advise you to get it, whether it's on Kindle or paperback or whatever you want to get it on. But I would just, it's one of those books, go-to books, that will help you understand what you've been through and to work it through. This other book here, okay, Churches That Abuse, I'll leave the link underneath. This is a free book and it describes the kind of authoritarian type of, um, spiritual manipulation that people basically live and my ex church is in this in this particular book and that's when that was in 1991 um or no hold on let me think of I think of, I can't remember yeah it was night sorry guys um it was 1992 because I was over in America and they gave me this book and I just about nearly fell over when I read it and I understood okay so now I have been spiritually abused and this is why I do this ministry is to warn people about false teachers and being spiritually abused. So I just wanted to point this information out to you so you guys whoever it is no matter who you are you can go and get this information. The next thing you do is once you have come with the, the basics of the Christian faith then what you do is you keep reading the Word of God and God with the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. And if you can find a good Bible believing, no, Bible believing church that believe the Trinity, that the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all unrighteousness, that Jesus Christ died on the cross, rose on the, was buried, rose on the third day, and that you need to repent of your sin and also that they must believe in hell as well. Okay, um, when you read these books, if there's some kind of spiritual abuse going on, you will recognize it straight away. Okay, so brothers and sisters, this is just a short video to encourage those who have come out of these men, these faults, that there is um, things that you can read and uh, resources. So, I'll Leave it at that. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And may the Lord let his light to shine upon you. And I'll talk to you super soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.